I'm pretty sure at the moment, Scorpion has the highest damage combo in the entirety of Mortal Kombat 1. I mean, look at his face. It looks like a face that could do 98% combos. You're also going to need the Jax cameo to perform this, and that's because Jax gives you the low ground pound, which is unblockable. Yesterday, I was just chilling on my phone when I saw this post. This player named Basics made a post that was titled 94% inescapable combo. The quality is going to be a little lower right now because I'm just screen grabbing it, but I was really shocked. Uh, I immediately went to the lab to try it, but this combo wasn't going to be without some controversy. Sonic Fox appeared out of nowhere, and if you don't know, Sonic Fox is well regarded as the best pro player in Mortal Kombat history, essentially saying that this setup is fake and it doesn't work. Oh, but here's where things definitely get juicy. Sonic Fox said to set the CPU to stance hold crouch, I promise it will whiff. My hopes were beginning to be crushed, I really didn't know what to do. But basics coming through with the proof that it doesn't. Doing exactly what Sonic Fox told him to do, and we're still getting the Scorpion set up for 98%. So basics only spent two bars in his version of it, I decided to spend three bars and got 98%. Let me just play you mine in training mode and then I'll talk a little bit about how you do it and kind of give you guys some tips if you want to go try this online or in training mode. So you're going to come here with the triple 4 3 2. It's a little tricky at first, but you'll get the hang of it. Into spear, into the ground pound setup. And the rest is kind of repeating a process right here. But as you can see, you're going to be jumping up in the air to avoid the ground pound because the ground pound hits you and the opponent. But look at this damage. Notice. Reptile's health bar was all the way full when I started this, and it is now going to be at 2%. That's nuts. Had to give a little taunt. Had to give a little taunt. Some of you guys are thinking, oh, that's not a combo. I don't see 98% on the left side of the screen with a billion hits in it. The reason it's considered a combo is because if you get this timing perfectly, the only way the opponent can escape is by spending their combo breaker, which sounds like a combo, right? If you wanted to escape a normal combo that counted all the damage, you would spend combo breaker. At some point in this 98%, you will have to spend your three bars. So if you get hit by this and you have zero bars of meter, I don't know exactly how much damage you can eat before you build three bars, but it's definitely going to be like 70, 80% if that. So this is how it works. Whenever Scorpion throws spear, you obviously get some time after the spear to continue your combo. So the opponent is in complete hit stun. The opponent can't jump, can't block, can't move. So when I jump with Scorpion and Jax goes for that ground pound, Jax catches the opponent as soon as the hit stun ends, like the frame afterwards essentially, and then I as Scorpion hit a really deep jump three, and if you're new to fighting games, deep means like I let myself fall almost as far as possible before hitting the jump three into amplified teleport. As soon as I amplify that teleport, I want to hit an immediate jump two, hit the ground, dash forward, hit stand two one into spear, and we repeat the process. Like right as I'm throwing spear, I'm calling in Jax for the next ground pound. But there's ways you would know you missed the timing, right? If Jax stays on screen during this and doesn't run off screen before the second ground pound, you know you hit the jump kick first, meaning you didn't actually get the true setup. The opponent could have blocked that jump kick and then got hit by the ground pound and would have just been knocked down. That usually happens because you called Jax too late in the combo. Because again, this timing is really tight. The second thing that can happen is Jax's ground pound just knocks the opponent down straight to the floor and it counts as a combo from that first set of hits. That's because you called the ground pound in too early and you actually hit the opponent when they were still in the hit stun from Spear. So this is gonna be really hard to learn if you're a new player, even intermediate player. Trust me, you're gonna struggle with this. You're gonna have to spend days in the training mode just trying to figure it out because I promise you you're not gonna see this online if you do link that to me right away clip it because I have yet to see it been hit online so I'm gonna go for it today but if you hit it online I want you to upload it to YouTube and then link it to me wherever you can get in contact with me because I have a prize to the first person who can get the full sequence and prove it's real not that the opponent just wasn't blocking like it wouldn't have worked if the opponent was trying I was trying to think of other ways that having Jax is useful for Scorpion aside from trying to set your opponent up for an 100% combo essentially and I think he does stand to be pretty good with Scorpion because of Scorpion strike throws if you didn't know if you grab with Jax you can spend the bars for extra damage so right there, I just did a 21% throw with Jax, and that's already after the opponent is guessing against all of Scorpion's staggers. Also, Jax makes this combo right here meterless. So, 
I dropped it right there. That's another reason Jax could be great. We now get meterless air combos for a ton of damage. Like right there. That was 40% meterless. Meterless one cameo spin. So yeah, Jax has routes even if you're not going for the full setup. I, I think by doing this 100% combo thing, I figured out Jax is a way better cameo with Scorpion than previously thought. I haven't seen anybody using him when they're playing Scorpion. timed it ground pound was too early no way that was still like 70 percent that's nuts so yeah that's a 70 percent unblockable i mean he could have broke it he just didn't decide to use it but what so that's what i mean if you're too early uh the jacks will just straight up combo instead of you know relaunching all right we got him in the corner now he was at 90 percent ish health No way! No! No! <laughs> I still went through it! Oh, I choked! I choked! What a round, though. Do you see how fast Scorpion ejects? He had 90% less than 10 seconds ago, I'm pretty sure. Um, <laughs> okay. What? Man, if I just timed that second one correctly and didn't drop, that would have been it. I would have actually finished him from 90% to zero in just one sequence. I'm dropping. It's easier on the big body hitboxes when you're playing online, for sure. Nice break. Okay, so, you know what? He is breaking. He just didn't want to use the meter last time. He wanted to save it for the next round. Fair enough. Let's go! No! No! <laughs> it's so close, though. You guys see the vision, right? Like... This is definitely possible, it's just, it's a matter of when, not if, and man, I, ju I just gotta calm down, I just gotta get my timing down. Ooh. Too early, too early, that was just a straight up knockdown, it counted as the combo. Still 31% for that meterless isn't too bad, even when you do mess it up. Get off me. I slide, maybe. Yeah, you should have stayed up close to me. I'm sorry, friend. He won't open up anymore. Oh, he's learned. He's learned. I'm just shooting for this. Nice break. Okay, he spent the bars. That's all we needed from that. We can go to the next round. Pretty confident. I'm just going to throw it. And we only have five seconds left. That's not what we needed right after I made a break. <laughs> a good old ice clone. I gosh nice i could have spent the at least one bar meter but i decided not to i mistimed it at least the ground pound still hit that's when you're just too slow the opponent can get up and just block stuff yep we'll take it we'll take it i'm messing up the timing now i'm getting too too nervous so that's what i mean about the really tight window by the way uh, even if you mess up the timing window, you could still essentially guarantee the opponent gets hit by the ground pound. Oh. Yes. No! No! I even mistimed that, but he just tried to jump out of the setup. That's why Jack stayed on screen for a second ground pound. I was way too late calling it in, but that's fine. That is fine. Yes, what a clean round. Go for it. Uh, yep, uh, my timing is all sorts of off now. It was so good the first few games, and now I'm just... Ah, oh, it's bad. Oh, nice reptile combo. I haven't actually seen that many reptiles online. And Serena is owning me. What a setup. Okay. I see you, friend. What? <laughs> I'm just out here trying to get a combo, and this guy is actually pretty good. 
Nice break. He had to do it. Bro, set up. No! Get the anti-tired. Yes. Yes. Woohoo! What a round. I came back there. Wow, that <laughs> trip guard was nuts. Oh, I got it with the jump over, but dropped, but dropped. Uh, yeah, the timing's bad. Jax was still on screen. Oh my. What? Let's see what you got, Baraka. Okay. I want to play Smoke so bad. Smoke is a really cool pick. I've been actually labbing him a whole ton behind the scenes. No! Too late on the Jax calls today. Yes. <laughs> he was so worried about Jax, he just started hitting buttons. That's crazy. <laughs> you can't make people panic if you do it enough. You know, my fingers are actually starting to hurt because Netherrealm decided to make the coolest MK game of all time where I can go for absolutely insane Scorpion setups. Uh, I'm just truly impressed. I've been playing for at least 12 hours this Sunday. Nice, nice. I also really like this dude's Scorpion skin. I, this is the Warrior Combat League rank skin, right? It's not the Invasions one. Oh, oh that jump, jump was cheeky. Yes? just covers so much even when you mess up the timing Shao Kahn tried everything to get out of that and I got another 30% combo it's really cool to see a Chao and a Motaro I didn't really see this guy's level but he must be a high level and honestly he's a really good Chao I haven't seen that many Chao players so I respect it oh <laughs> the reversal I got that little flawless block in there and then just hit him with the reversal counter I figured out what I'm doing wrong. Okay, I still believe it's truly real. I am jump kicking way too early. I need to delay it. So you can't actually combo the jump kick after spear, I don't think. Like, if you go like, go like that, yeah, Sub-Zero can always block. So it's actually been my jump kick messing it up. Not, uh, not the thing. That, I was like, why have all of a sudden my timing just gone down the drain? Like that, okay, okay, I have it better figured out. The round ended, obviously, but. I dropped it! I went for like one more game, I went for one more game. It's definitely the jump kick. <laughs> Why? If you haven't already purchased Mortal Kombat 1, make sure you do it right now by clicking the link in the description below. The game comes out tomorrow, I'm having a blast, you'll have a blast, and you can join a great community of players that does stuff like this all day long. We talk, we come up with new things, new strategy, and it's just a blast. You feel a part of a community. Hopefully I'll see you guys in a week with a video where I do this online, and I'll catch you guys next time.